Hey there, K-drama enthusiasts. Welcome back to our channel where we dive into the juiciest tea of the K-drama world. Today, we're spilling it all on 10 jaw-dropping, eyebrow-raising, and downright controversial dramas that had the internet in a frenzy. Trust me, these shows pushed boundaries in ways you won't believe. But before we spill all the deets, make sure you hit that subscribe button, ring the notification bell, give us a thumbs up, and don't forget to share this video with your fellow drama addicts. Let's get into it. In the heart-wrenching drama Snowdrop, set against the backdrop of Seoul in 1987, a forbidden love story unfolds. When a mysterious and wounded man seeks refuge in a women's university dormitory, he captures the attention of young Ro, a fearless and compassionate student who becomes enamored with him. Little does she know, the man she has fallen for is hiding a dangerous secret. The dark action romantic dramedy Snowdrop, set in 1987 and starring Jung Hyun, Blackpink's member Jisoo, and Yu In Na, aired on JTBC from December 2021 to January 2022. Its very premise sparked controversy because it was rooted in the country's fight for democracy and featured a North Korean spy falling for the South Korean student who has saved him. Over 200,000 citizens filed a petition for its cancellation because it distorted facts to fit the romantic narrative and portrayed an enemy in a charismatic manner. The ENA romantic comedy True to Love, also known as Bora, Debra stars Yu Inna as a life coach and dating influencer. In the ninth episode, she compares the importance of maintaining one's attire and makeup with the efforts of prisoners the infamous Auschwitz concentration camp, saying, where people were living in deplorable conditions, some of them managed to take half a cup of water and used the remaining portion to wash their faces. They even used a piece of glass and the back of a tray as a mirror to shave. And they survived. Taking care of one's appearance and dressing up is a matter of survival. Those lines were deemed shocking and insensitive, and the production team issued a statement saying, we should have approached the historical facts with greater accuracy, and we deeply regret not having done so. Our intention was never to trivialize historical tragedies, and we offer our sincere apologies. Netflix's critically acclaimed survival and horror thriller Squid Game, which has racked up multiple awards and nominations, delves into a chilling narrative of deadly children's competitions involving financially struggling adult contestants. Despite its global acclaim, the show stumbled into two major controversies. Firstly, it used a genuine eight-digit phone number on an invitation business card, resulting in a deluge of frantic viewers bombarding the innocent individual linked to it with calls. Although Netflix advised him to change his number, he argued it was inextricably tied to his business. Adding to the chaos, another person with a phone number differing by just one digit from the one featured in the series suffered a similar fate, documenting the relentless prank calls on social media. On a different note, a racy, unfiltered, intimate scene in a toilet cubicle featuring Kim Jo Yong as Han Min Yo and Heo Sung Tae as Jung Deok Soo raised eyebrows, especially among conservative South Korean audiences. Moreover, the show garnered criticism for what some deemed as excessive gore and violence. Eventually, the scenes displaying the contentious phone digits were discreetly edited out. The Coming of Age Romantic Drama 2521, starring Kim Tae-ri and Nam Joo Hyuk, was criticized for promoting love between an adult and a minor. Though the leads only had a four-year age gap, Tae-ri's character, Na Hee-do, was still in high school when she was proposed to. Additionally, in episode 15, the reporter Bak Yijin is covering the 9-11 terrorist attack, and Hido smiles with pride while watching him on screen. The scene angered American viewers for being insensitive, not only by bringing up the deadly terrorist attack, which might still be a horrible trauma for the victims and their families, but also by using it to portray the struggling relationship of the characters. The K-drama Mr. Queen, starring Shin Hai Sun and Kim Jong Hyun, has found itself embroiled in several controversies that have sparked heated discussions and divided opinions among viewers. One of the most significant issues revolves around the perception of cultural disrespect. Some viewers have accused the show, particularly Shin Hai Sun's portrayal, of being disrespectful to Korean culture. This criticism gained traction following a previous controversy involving another celebrity, and it seems to have sensitized audiences to historical inaccuracies. It's disheartening to witness the extent to which some individuals have taken their disappointment, even going so far as to label Shin Hai Sun as a sellout. An incident that fueled this narrative was her endorsement of a chicken brand, 
while wearing traditional Korean garments and being in a traditional Korean setting. This marketing move garnered substantial backlash from certain quarters. The heart of the controversy seems to revolve around the unique premise of Mr. Queen, which involves gender swapping and modern day sensibilities in a historical setting. While this alone raised eyebrows, a significant point of contention arose when the veritable records of the Joseon dynasty, considered a national treasure, were portrayed as a mere tabloid within the show. This portrayal was met with outrage from some viewers who saw it as disrespectful to Korean history and heritage. The King, the Eternal Monarch, a popular K-drama, faced controversies linked to cultural sensitivity and historical tensions. Viewers criticized the show for featuring buildings resembling Japanese temples in its portrayal of the fictional Korean Empire. Additionally, the resemblance between the imperial seal of the fictional Korean Empire and Japan's real imperial seal raised concerns of cultural appropriation. Another episode depicted a naval battle between the Korean Empire and Japan, with Japanese warships resembling contemporary Korean counterparts. These controversies need to be understood in the context of Korea and Japan's historical conflicts, including Japan's colonial rule of Korea and recent trade disputes. Any hint of Korean history influenced by Japanese traditions in a fictional setting stirred emotions rooted in their complex history of conflict and suffering. The K-drama My Mister had its share of controversies that stirred discussions among viewers. Notably, the replacement of Oh dal Su with Park ho -san due to allegations of sexual assault and harassment by Oh dal Su generated significant attention. Park ho -san stepped into the role admirably, and while some scenes and promotional materials had to be adjusted, the transition was relatively smooth. Importantly, this change was made before the drama's official airing, as Park ho -san's casting was announced a month before the show's premiere, meaning Oh dal Su was never featured in any scenes. Furthermore, my Mister faced an age gap controversy before its release due to misleading promotional activities. Initially, the marketing led audiences and IU's fans to anticipate a love story between the leads, which could have raised eyebrows given the significant age difference. However, the drama's actual storyline, focusing on the relationship between a man in his 40s and a young woman in her 20s going through hardships and healing each other, surprised some viewers. IU clarified on VLive that the show was about a human story, not a romantic one. But this revelation did not prevent all criticism. Additionally, a scene depicting the brutal beating of IU's character by a loan shark drew controversy for its graphic nature. His Korean romance drama evoked a variety of responses from the Korean audience. Set in the post-Japanese colonial era, it portrays the resistance of the Joseon people struggling against Japan's efforts to control Korea by utilizing their political and military power. Despite its patriotic message, Mr. Sunshine has been put under the spotlight due to several controversies regarding its historical inaccuracies. This particular aspect of the drama engenders patriotism in the hearts of many Koreans, for such bloodshed of their ancestors shown is what allowed them to live in an independent and democratic country. These depictions also evoke a sense of antagonism toward Japan and pro-Japanese Koreans. In fact, due to such hatred roused against Japan, many dedicated watchers of Mr. Sunshine have not only canceled their trips to Japan, but also exposed the profiles of Chin-il predecessors and the unjustified properties they have inherited from their ancestors. SBS axed a fantasy historical drama after controversy over scenes showing Chinese cultural influences in just two episodes of the show. More than 163,890 people signed a petition to the presidential Blue House, asking for the show to be canceled. Joseon Exorcist is set in ancient Korea with historical figures as characters, but is a fantasy depicting exorcism. This TV series became the center of controversy immediately after it depicted the third king of the Joseon dynasty killing innocent people and the fourth, King Sejong as a prince receiving a guest in a room with Chinese food such as mooncakes. Viewers claimed this was a gross historical inaccuracy and inaccurate depiction of Chinese influence. Probably one of the biggest controversial dramas out of the ones on the list. The Korea Communications Standards Commission received over 7,000 complaints after the first few episodes of Backstreet Rookie aired, criticizing its objectification of young women. This drama is based on the webtoon by the same name that was already known for being sexually explicit. The audience was apprehensive before the show was even released and voiced out their concerns, 
only for the producers to promise a family rom-com instead. The story revolves around a part-time underage girl and a grown-up manager falling in love. Audience found red flags in the first episode itself, whereby it showed an underage girl flirting and kissing a grown man, while another scene showed prostitution, which is illegal in Korea. It even showed the underage young lead asking a stranger to buy her cigarettes. To top all of this, another thing that irked the viewers was the female lead's extremely short skirt and the majority of her scenes being shot in low angle. All right, K-drama fans, that wraps up our wild ride through these jaw-dropping controversies. If you're as shook as we are, hit that sub button down below so you never miss out on our spicy K-drama deep dives. Don't forget to ring that notification bell. Give us a thumbs up if you're still processing all the drama. And of course, spread the love by sharing this video with your fellow K-drama aficionados. Let's keep the conversation going. Thanks for joining us. And until next time, keep it drama-filled.